Native people do perform real music. <laughs> and even some of the advisory board members think it's just a bunch of heya heya stuff. <laughs> so I think they need a little um, education about things. Our cultures have been here for more than 150,000 years on this continent. <clears throat> when we arrived here from Polynesia, coming up the backbone of the Great Snake, or what they call the Andes and the Rocky Mountain, we left people here and there. <clears throat> to teach them how to live on the land. They called us Inca, the kings. We were known in our homeland as Kanaka people. When we arrived here, we changed significantly to become melded into the land in such a way that because we had no write, writing, no written language at all, we put all of our history into songs and stories. So all that heya heya stuff is actually probably the most important information that I have and is my classical tradition. I don't need to join an outside culture to express myself in the mus music and instrumentation of the Western Asian culture or what they call Europeans. Because even those rock and roll musicians, like the blues band that was on, needed to get the music out of the castles and out of the churches so that normal people could hear it. So the early rock and roll musicians, Beethoven, Bach, <laughs> and others, took the music and started writing it in such a way that now I can play it outside. It belongs to everyone. And they took all the folk music of their cultural traditions and plagiarized it immensely. Too bad there wasn't an ASCAP then. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> when I started, I lost the facility to perform on brass instruments because in the military I'd suffered an accident that destroyed my embouchure. 